The Duchess of Sussex has earned the nickname Meghan among Kensington Palace staff, according to Tatler. Meghan, 37, is understood to have rubbed some courtiers up the wrong way, with insiders previously revealing she had been dubbed Duchess Difficult. Now, in a new report published in the May edition of Tatler, Another unflattering nickname has been suggested, Meghan. The name is even said to be used by members of her own staff at Kensington Palace. Recalling the vicious attacks Sarah Ferguson was subject to after marrying into the royal family, the article reads, Meghan has seen nothing like that, even though staff at Kensington Palace are now calling her Meghan. Kensington Palace has disputed similar reports surrounding the Duchess' relationship with her staff on a number of previous occasions. The Duchess of Sussex, who is due to give birth to her first child in the coming weeks, has been dogged by reports of a demanding nature and relentless work ethic that has proved problematic for AIDS. She has been linked to a number of personnel resignations, including personal assistant Melissa Tubody who is said to have handed in her notice last year because the work had become too much. A source close to the matter said at the time, her job was highly pressurized and in the end it became too much. She put up with quite a lot. Meghan put a lot of demands on her and it ended up with her in tears. And earlier this month it was announced Amy Pickerill, who was appointed as Meghan's assistant private secretary just last year is to leave her post after the couple moved to Frogmore Cottage in Windsor this month. The move is a shock as Amy was handpicked to work for Meghan and was tipped to succeed Samantha Cohen, who is due to step down as the Duchess's private secretary after 17 years with the royal family. It is understood that Amy will be leaving the royal household altogether and moving overseas. She has played an important role in introducing Meghan to royal life organizing charity projects such as the cookbook the Duchess published to help families affected by the Grenfell Tower disaster. Just last week royal author Anna Pasternak said about the Duchess, who is believed to be giving birth next month, I think what Meghan's got to realize is she cannot live life in the royal family like an A-list Hollywood star. Within the monarchy it requires a very different set of behavior. You cannot have it all. You cannot have your freedom in this privilege. It's not a fairy tale. Recognizes that and live with the consequences. Kensington Palace declined to comment.